Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about your person. What are they thinking, feeling at this time? And what are their intentions towards you for the near future? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching and not every Sagittarius reading on my channel will resonate for you. Um, so let's jump right in for Sagittarius spirits, angels, guides. What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Sagittarius in love? What do we need to know? What energies do we need to look at for Sagittarius in love? All right, so what's going on in your connection right now? King of Wands reverse. Four of Cups. Okay, so I don't think... I feel like there is a distance because someone's upset. Um, someone could be angry. Someone could be upset. Someone might have made a mistake and caused another person to lose interest or kind of be left wondering, you know, what now? What, what do we need to know about this? Any challenges, insight? The Hermit Reverse. Virgo energy here and the chariot reverse cancer energy so something stopped there's something happened in this connection to pump the brakes or like and i feel like there's a divide between you and this person in sagittarius i'm wondering if we're gonna see that the more i pull cards here how do you feel about this person five of pentacles reverse Ace of Swords Rivers, yeah, something definitely happened. Uh, and, okay, let me push this back. This two. How do you feel about, or how did they feel about you, sorry. The Sun Reverse, the Devil, yeah, something definitely happened, and it could have been on your person side here. Capricorn Energy, um, what do you need to know? Any hidden factors? We have Strength, Leo Energy. And the Five of Cups reverse. So interesting. Five of Cups reverse, Five of Pentacles reverse. Typically, these are cards for like um, wanting to fix something or recover something. Um, so that's interesting. Overcoming difficulty. What's next? What's happening next here? King of Pentacles. Where is all this headed? Three of Wands reverse. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so why is all of this happening? What's the why? Six of Swords. A departure. Someone leaving a difficult situation for something else. And then I have the Queen of Wands. So this could be you, um, Sagittarius, or you could be dealing with another fire sign here. This is about a departure. This is a move of some sort, a transition that's happening here. And it's causing all of this other energy to happen. Okay, so let's get some insight. Let's just dig in and see what we can get. Spirit, can we get some insight clarity, please, for Sagittarius? Can you tell me more, please, for Sagittarius? What can you tell me? insight guidance please okay let's look at the six of swords the why everything is happening first why is the six of swords here why is the six of swords here the fool so someone's leaving towards something new leaving a difficult be difficult situation behind in order to have something new or start over or a clean slate um this could be somebody taking a risk a leap of faith not knowing exactly where they're headed just that they're headed somewhere tell me more about the six of swords tell me more about the six of swords Three of Wands. Hmm, someone could be waiting to leave, waiting to make this jump, this leap, 
waiting for something to come in, some sort of confirmation or message to come in in order for them to leave this situation. Bottom of the deck, I have strength, Leo energy, and we have strength here as well in the what you need to know. So maybe this requires courage. Maybe someone needs to be strong to make this move. So what happened between you here? What's going on in this connection to leave someone feeling like this Four of Cups? Kind of emotionally checked out, disinterested, bored, not satisfied. And I think it's because of a King of Wands reverse. Someone perhaps deceived you? Or is unhappy due to, it is almost like they caused unhappiness because the sun is reversed on your person's side here. I mean, something happened to pause things, stop the progression of something, to feel, something feels stuck now. Tell me about the King of Wands reverse and this Four of Cups. Why is the King of Wands reverse with this Four of Cups? Why is the King of Wands reverse? Knight of Cups. So this could be somebody apologizing, expressing some sort of genuine feeling here. Tell me more about the King of Wands reverse and the Four of Cups. What can you tell me about this King of Wands reverse with the Four of Cups? The Wheel of Fortune. So what I'm getting here is almost like someone's hoping that this convert, uh, message or offer turns things around, moves things forward once again, that things go in their favor, that things are, you know, moving in a way that leads to success. I really feel like this is, this Knight of Cups is someone who is apologizing. Now, this could be you, Sagittarius. This could be your person. Take it as it resonates because both of your energies are here. This is what's happening between you right now. Now, the Hermit is reversed with the Chariot reverse. And this is kind of like insight or challenges to the situation. So let's see what this is about down here. Tell me about the Hermit reverse and the Chariot reverse. Why is the Hermit Reverse and the Chariot Reverse? Why is the Hermit Reverse and the Chariot Reverse? Why is the Hermit Reverse? Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Another offer. Why is the Hermit Reverse and the Chariot Reverse? What can you tell me about these energies, please, Spirit? Justice. Libra Energy. Yeah, so what I'm getting here is like someone's trying to fix something with an offer. Rebalance the situation. Make things right. Because whatever happened here stopped something or was a wrong things went wrong if someone took a wrong turn somewhere and it's like they're hoping that this offer is enough to fix the situation so let's get the energies between you here okay I'm, okay all right, tell me the energies between Sagittarius and this other person that they're dealing with. What are the energies between Sagittarius and this other person's spirit? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the energies between Sagittarius and this other person that they are dealing with? Tell me about Sagittarius. What energy is Sagittarius bringing to this connection? Divine timing. Trust in divine timing. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune and divine timing here. So, so timing could be very important in this connection. Okay. What about your person? 
It could be that you are hoping that something happens in the right time, or you've been waiting for something here. Tell me about the person Sagittarius is dealing with. What are their energies in this connection? What are their energies? Strong bonds and poetic justice. You will have justice and balance will be restored. Strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions. So once again, I get the idea that this person wants to have balance be restored. Now, some of you are dealing with a person whose family was a problem. And others of you, there's a very strong bond between you. Maybe this is a divine partnership or something that's divinely guided. Um, and I feel like this strong bond is what this person is hoping will go in their favor, right? Like the fact that there's a strong bond between you, um, they're hoping perhaps that that helps them restore balance here because they have the sun reverse and the devil. So they're not very happy right now. They're not doing very well right now. And you have the ace of swords reverse. So between you, I, I sense friction. I sense this, this um, divide, right? Okay, so let's get some insight here. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles reverse and the Ace of Swords reverse. I feel like you pulled away, Sagittarius, or you're thinking of this person pulling away from you, but you know, I do sense a distance. Tell me about Five of Pentacles reverse and Ace of Swords reverse. Why is the Five of Pentacles reverse? And the Ace of Swords reverse spirit. The Emperor. Aries energy. Oh my gosh. And the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Okay. They're definitely a divine partnership or at least a very strong partnership here. But the Emperor could be an energy about someone taking charge of the situation. Being very decisive. Very uh, strong. That Someone that has authority. This could be the energy that you're stepping into. You could be dealing with a masculine energy as well. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles reverse and the Ace of Swords reverse. What else do I need to know? Wow, Ten of Swords. Yeah, I feel like there's definitely a situation here that maybe, per, you know, for some of you um, that I am connecting with, you're thinking about ending a situation or you decided to, to step aside or not deal with this anymore. But then why divine timing? It's almost like, okay, so some of you, this ending already happened and you're hoping for a recovery. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. I'm getting two messages here. And bottom of the deck, the world. So once, you know, this could be for either message. Because the world is a card about ending cycles and then starting cycles. So for the first group of you, you're thinking about ending things with this person. Maybe you ended things already in the past. And you're ready for a new cycle, something new. Others of you, I feel like this, this ending already happened between you. And you, you're hoping that there's a new beginning with between you. Okay, two very different energies. We'll see what else we get. Tell me more about this emperor. Just curious, what do we need to know about this emperor? What do we need to know about this emperor? Ten of Wands. Okay, so this emperor has been dealing with a lot. Um, maybe they have a lot of emotions, a lot of baggage, a lot of things that they're working on, addressing at this time. Also, little ant. Um, I didn't kill it. I just kind of flinged it. <laughs> um, yeah, this emperor could be just overwhelmed, dealing with a lot, and maybe they've reached their breaking point. Because I have two tens here: ten of wands, ten of swords. Others of you, I feel like there has been a long, like the second group, if you're waiting for a comeback or you want to recover this connection, it could be that there's a lot of history between you and there could be baggage here, something that needs to be addressed. So why is your person so unhappy and has the devil here? 
Tell me about the sun reversed and the devil. Why is the sun here reversed with the devil? Why is the sun reversed with the devil? Six of cups. Why is the sun reversed with the devil? Why is the sun reversed? The high priestess. The chariot. Okay, so we have the chariot at the bottom of the deck here. Cancer energy. Movement forward. On the road to success. You could be dealing with a cancer as well. Well, this to me is, is um, interesting because the message I'm getting very clearly is past secret. Some sort of secret or hidden um, factors that affected the past or are from the past, something like that. Tell me more about the high priestess. There could have been secrets that came between you too. Some lies, deception, because you have the Ace of Swords reverse. What happened here with the high priestess? What's this about? What's this about the high priestess? Four of Wands. Something to do with home stability, something to do with a partner. Tell me more about the high priestess. Yeah, King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles showed up twice. So you could have been dealing with someone already in a partnership or already had, had a home situation. Because the King of Pentacles, for me as a reader, a lot of the time, they're already in a connection. And with the Four of Wands here, these two cards are like marriage, long-term commitment, living together. So I feel like this devil represents an attachment that your person is experiencing or is in, but I think they're unhappy in that connection. And for whatever reason, there could be some sort of secret love here or something like that. Tell me about the Six of Cups. The star, Aquarius energy. Hope, faith, renewal, healing. I feel like this person, yeah, they're focused on healing something. This person's focused on healing the situation, but I don't know how that's going to happen if they're already in another commitment. And I see them still there in the near future because the King of Pentacles shows up. Three of Wands reverse tells me that there's probably more waiting that will be happening here or a delay. So let's see. Strength and the Five of Cups reverse is in the what you need to know. So let's see. What, what do we need to know about the Strength card and the Five of Cups reverse? What do we need to know? Seven of Wands. Fighting back, standing firm, being brave against any challenge. Tell me about the Strength card and the Five of Cups reverse. Six of Wands. So I feel like this is somebody that is trying to be brave. Trying to be brave so that they can overcome this past regret or past difficulty. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Fighting for a new beginning, fighting for a new start, fighting for a chance to have a new adventure. But I feel like there's a waiting period here or, you know, because I have the Three of Wands and the Three of Wands reverse. So, hmm. so let's see what's going to happen in the near future here. Why is the King of Pentacles here with the Three of Wands reverse? Why is the King of Pentacles here with the Three of Wands reverse? Queen of Swords, okay. Well, why is the King of Pentacles here with the Three of Wands reverse? Wow, the Empress. Interesting. Queen of Swords and the Empress. Can I get one more for the King of Pentacles and the Three of Wands reverse? And then I'll kind of talk about what I'm seeing. Why is the King of Pentacles here with the Three of Wands reverse? Page of Wands. Okay. So for a lot of you, this is plain old communication. There's the Six of Pentacles at the bottom. Your person wants to approach and take initial steps to do something with the Page of Wands, Queen of Swords. And this is 
regarding their empress, the person that they are thinking about, or you, basically. If they're the emperor, you're the empress. If you're the empress, they're the emperor. Take it how it resonates. Um, I feel like this is this king of pentacles is already in a commitment and they're very slow in doing this. So if this is your person and they want to talk to you, start something, take the initiative with the page of wands, which I believe is tied to rebalancing, giving to this, they're delayed because the three of wands is reversed. Or there's an impatience here because things are not moving fast enough. And with the chariot reverse, that makes perfect sense. There's there's no movement, no progression. Tell me about the page of wands. What do we need to know about this page of wands? Ten of pentacles, yeah. So there's another, there's something else here, some sort of commitment, and there's the tower. I'm actually surprised it didn't come out earlier because Sagittarius, if you've been watching my readings lately, the tower keeps coming up. It's very significant. If it hasn't happened for you yet, it will. For those that this resonates, of course. But I feel like this is tied to another commitment or a third party. So I feel like this person, and again, tens are very important too, because I have four tens on the board right now. And tens are numbers about completion, things wrapping up, endings or, fin or completion, um, not completion, I already said that, um, culmination. So I feel like this is something that's kind of like heading towards a culmination or completion of some sort. It's going to happen. The tower is there to ensure that this happens. It's just a matter of when. And so basically what I see here in the near future is I don't see much. I see someone taking baby steps very slowly because there is a delay. And this King of Pentacles is aware of what this delay is and why. And I think you as well. Um, but that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed this 411 reading. If you did, um, hit that like button, subscribe so you can see more readings from me. I'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching, all of your support. Um, thank you so much for watching once again, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.